Hey guys, a lot of you know that I think hedgehogs are the cutest little animals ever, yet for some reason I still have not featured one in a tutorial on my channel. That all ends today because right now I'm here with my pal Henry the Hedgehog. I made this little guy out of clay and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own little polymer clay hedgehog. Henry here was like, hey Sarah, can you make me a girlfriend? I'm like, hey Henry, sure thing, I'm going to make you the most beautiful, most amazing little hedgehog clay girlfriend ever. We talk a lot. I talk to inanimate objects a lot. Before we get into the tutorial, please click the thumbs up button if you like hedgehogs and or polymer clay. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I put out new crafty videos every single Friday for Crafty Friday, which is what you're watching right now. Meow. Hedgehogs don't meow. Henry tells me I need to hurry up, so without further ado, let's get to it. Henry's in my snapping hand. <laughs> to make a hedgehog, you'll need some brown tan and black polymer clay, some tools, white acrylic paint, and some TLS to help the nose stay on. I like to begin by shaping the body, so you're just going to roll it out and then flatten the bottom and kind of round off the rest to make it look like an arch or kind of half circle shape. I just realized that I was working with brown clay on a brown table so that's why I switched to a cutting board background. Next you can work on sculpting the face. I'm taking my tan clay and I'm going to kind of stretch it into an elongated triangular shape with a point for the nose. Keep shaping until you're happy with it and then you're going to take a blade and just cut it so it's straight and then you can push it onto the body. This flat cut will make it easier for you to blend the head and the body together. One other thing I like to do is just kind of push down at the top there in the center to form kind of an M shape. Break off tiny pieces of brown clay and then you're going to shape those into little tiny spikes that you are going to place along the hairline of your hedgehog. Make sure that when you're placing these you leave a tiny bit of space on each side so that you can stick on the ears. Once all the spikes look spiffy then you're going to place on the ears. All I did was flatten a couple pieces of clay into a rounded triangle. Then with my dotting tool I'm adding an indent to each ear. Also with this same tool you're going to place an indent on each side of the face to place the eyes into. Just roll out tiny pieces of black and set them in. Almost done! Now I'm going to add texture to the body to make it look like there's spikes all over. You can do this however you want and you can of course add the clay spikes to the entire body but that might take you a whole lot of time. I'm also going in and just adding a line into every spike that we made along the hairline just to give it a little bit more definition. You can go ahead and add four little feet to the bottom of the body. Finally I'm placing on the nose which is just a tiny black ball and I'm using a little bit of translucent liquid Sculpey for this because you don't want it to fall off. Now we get to bring our little hedgehog to life so just place one dot of white in each eye and she should look alive. This is Henry's girlfriend so I'm gonna make her look a little bit more girly by adding some eyelashes and a cute little bow. Once you're happy with your hedgehog, then you can go ahead and bake it according to the baking instructions on your specific package of polymer clay. And I just felt like doing the announcer voice there, hey! If you end up making your own polymer clay hedgehog, then please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. You just might be featured in next week's Crafty Friday video. You guys helped me choose Henry's name, so in the comment section of this video, leave me a name suggestion for his cute little girlfriend. Also tell me what I should make next out of polymer clay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Henry says that it was a pleasure meeting all of you guys, and he hopes that you subscribe to my channel and continue to watch my videos in the future. He likes me a lot, so he's trying to help me out, so he wants you guys to subscribe and and click the thumbs up button please it would just make him happy and my 300,000 giveaway is coming up very super soon so you guys better get super excited for it 
Last week on Crafty Friday, I showed you guys how to make crayon melting canvas art. So here are some photos that you guys sent to me via Instagram, hashtag SoCraftastic, and I also received pictures on my Twitter and my Facebook fan page as well. You guys made some super colorful and amazingly beautiful crayon art, so thank you so much for submitting those pictures to me. Henry and I hope that you guys have a great rest of the day. See you soon. Bye! That's right, Henry. I can wave with you. Just no snapping. Hello. He never shuts up. <laughs> Ooh. A lot of you need love. Are you saying that I'm no fun and you'd rather hang out with a hedgehog instead?